Alrighty guys, we didn't finally got that 21 on there. So it is verified, man. The wheels from the 2017 and up or whatever, they fit the new 2023. What's up guys? We are back here with another Everything's Regular video. Man, I wanna thank everybody out there for tuning in today. You guys caught that video yesterday where we dropped off our North Carolina bikes at BBV. We got the white and black one already done. The blue one should be getting tackled today. So we're actually just waiting on the call for that to be coming in so we can go pick both of those things up and get those things on their way man meanwhile if you guys haven't heard man our new 2023 road glide cvo is up for grabs man 2023 for 23 dollars, man you get 23 entries man you heard it here first man head on over to everythingregular.com right now go get you anything on the website man we have updated the website with a whole lot of merchandise that got us to this point right here in 2023 man so if you guys missed out on any past merch or anything like that man everything is live on the site right now for 23 dollars. if it's not on there man it's already sold out man so with that being said head on over there and grab you something man we got patches we got wallets we got stickers we got camouflage hats we got bucket hats man and everything is 23 dollars you get 23 entries for a chance to win our new 2023 cvo road glide man so with that being said y'all know what time it is man in the meantime if you guys haven't already man please like comment and subscribe i definitely appreciate y'all tuning in today today we are actually about to see what's up with this cvo y'all know in a real world man y'all know i customize everything and put reels on everything man so i haven't really seen a video like this on youtube yet and i'm kind of curious myself to see what's up with this front wheel and um it's like something like that gonna match up to something like this man so we'll see how compatible these things are to the old road glides and the wheel setup and all that with the whole 21 on there because you guys know typically the cvo's come in a 21 inch wheel however these wheels is a 19 you guys know i have the 2022 CVO Road Glide and they come with the same wheels as this. I thought these were 21s, but when I got up on them and I started riding on those, I'm like, oh yeah, these is definitely 19s, man. So with that being said, I have a couple of pairs of 21s over there. Um, I might do the freaking blue one over there because probably that's one gonna be the last one to go because this one is either gonna be going out in a couple days or so. I'd rather just keep it like it is and just do what we do. But then again, I don't know. I actually like the brush look. I wanna see what the brush look like on this bike anyway so we'll see which one we're gonna choose but i think i'm gonna snatch this front wheel off and fender also snatch one of these front wheels off and mount this thing up and see if it's gonna mount up and see how it looks and see what's up with the fender can we put the fender on there with the risers you know we just gotta check it out and see what's good man y'all stay tuned let's see if we can get done though so we have our cvo right here ready to go so I'm gonna snatch this one off first. Actually, I feel like I should snatch one of them off first just so when I have this one off, I can test it out uh, and freaking I won't have to have, cause I was just thinking I don't really have enough wheels to have one on there just sitting and the only wheel I got, only got one rotor on there. So I could actually um, just put the freaking axle through that and not touch the brakes and I'll be good there. And then we'll actually get this one situated, but I'm gonna pull one of these out. Any mini money mo catch a tiger by his toe. If you try to let him go. In T mint T mine T mo. Okay, Reese's pieces you up. Let's do it. guys i was gonna do reese's pieces then i was like okay reese's pieces is not abs then i come over here and this one is an abs which i thought it was i believe it is i don't know we'll see but anywho we're gonna put this thing on here one way or another now this 2023 is a little bit different from our 2020 or anything 2017 and up to this point honestly so with the brake brackets, we usually have some stars, some 10 point stars. So if you guys see, if you guys see on here, these, the bolts that hold these brakes up are stars. These are probably like, I don't know what size I'm gonna have to figure it out, but I will let you know. And then from there, we got one screw here and doesn't look like anything under that sucker and no screw on this side. So this is gonna be a first for us. We're gonna see how this works. We might be able to take off one brake caliper 
and do it that way. I don't know. We'll see what's up once we get it off and uh, experiment with a few things, man. So let's see if we can get this show on the road. So for the brake calipers, you're gonna need an eight mil. Um, I took this one off with a six mil. However, um, like I said, this is a little bit new. Usually on the older models, you have an end like this where you put something in there and you can like yank it out. On this one, it's looking like it's more of the, um, the Arlen Ness forks where it's like freaking a straight through and you just twist, twist, twist until it twists up in that side. So that's how you know it'll be lined up perfectly. So we'll see how that works. We'll see if we can get a screw from this size and uh, try to get this thing back out. All right, guys, quick intermission, man. Um, I actually got to pretty much the last part of the front wheel on this new CVO and wasn't able to take it off. Why? Because if you look here, it's like a big old socket that I don't have. So I gotta go uh, either ask Harley what size is that, which they probably gonna give it to me, or just go to one of these hardware stores and try to find the right tool to get that out. Cause I'm sure you just stick something in there and just screws out, man. So we'll see what's up. guys we have finally found the right tool so to take off this front wheel man you're gonna need a h19 um, to take that front socket off because as you see it turns in there it's similar to the Arlen S um, fork so if you ever have Arlen S forks where they just slide in and they screw in into the other side because if you see right there they got the groove and stuff like that so that's a pretty cool thing now you see the uh, spacers they're literally like the Arlen S style spacers too so Harley definitely took some um, pointers from Arlen S from, from what it seems like. Did you guys see this ABS sensor built in? It looks pretty dope. So now we're gonna be mounting, uh, where is it at? This wheel up to see how it looks. And I'll uh, get this thing going, man. I can't wait, big CVO with the wheel change. Let's see how this thing work, man. We didn't finally got that 21 on there looking really good it actually looks really really good man let me step back Ooh we ooh we y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below so it is verified man the wheels from the 2017 and up or whatever they fit the new 2023s um, CVOs that is however with this wheel being a non ABS wheel I had a little bit of trouble getting this brake on there so I didn't want to screw it in and mess up the thread so this brake is not all the way on there so um, if I wanted to get rims for this bike you would just have to order ABS wheels and then ask for fender you're definitely gonna need some fender risers depending on what size tire you get now um, if you get a smaller tire, like something for a wraparound, this fender should work. Um, however, it's just a little bit too much tire on this specific tire for this uh, fender to go on there. So I'm thinking with a skinnier tire, like something for a wraparound, uh, what is this, 120, 70? I believe, I believe it's like 130, 60 or something like that. 130, 60, 21 is the tire that you need. Um, I believe that's the one that should be able to work with this. But all in all, it fits right on there. Looks really good. I ain't gonna hold you. I am not gonna hold you. If this thing freaking matched up right, I would definitely be keeping these on here. But, oh my goodness, that's CV Oski. What y'all think, man? Let your boy know in the comments below. You can put rims from your old uh, M8 on your new CVO. So, now you guys know, man, it wasn't that hard at all. It is a new setup than what the old bikes are. But, like I say, all you need is 
an H19 for the axle. You need a H6, what is it? You need a H6 for this bolt right here. And then this one is a, the brakes is, what is it? The brakes is an eight millimeter. So you need an eight millimeter, you need a six millimeter hex, and then a 19 uh, metric hex. And you should be able to get this front wheel off. So not that big of a deal, really simple and easy, honestly. And then after you do complete it, it will look really, really good, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. Um, do I want to order some wheels for this? I'm tempted. However, you guys know I got the 2022 CVO and it actually came with these same exact wheels. So the only thing that's different is the wheel that's on the other CVO is a size 21 and this one is a size 19. So if we wanted to beef up the front a whole lot of it, we can go with a wheel like this or a little bit, we can beef it up with another wheel like that just in 21, man. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. You guys know you guys can win this thing right now for $23. Head on over to everythingregular.com right now. Go purchase you anything on the website. Like I said, we didn't restock the website with all the merch that got us here throughout the years, man. So if you guys haven't scored any of these hats, some of these hats are on there. Some of them are already sold out, so you won't see them on there. But at the end of the day, we'll be getting this stuff shipped out. The star of the show, Big 121, Road glide with the oohs and the eyes on it, man. Y'all see what time it is, it's a movie. And now that we got this wheel on and we know it fits, uh, we probably just got to get, like I said, an ABS wheel or ABS bearings and stuff in that freaking caliper to be that much different on it. But all in all, it does look good. I can't wait, what do you guys think we should do? Should we order a pair of rims for this thing and get this thing beefed up for you guys? However, I don't know how long he's gonna take with the wheels being that it is Christmas time. So y'all let me know what y'all wanna do in the comments below. This thing does look great though. And what style would you guys prefer? This style, the brush style, or like, you know, something else, man. Let me know in the comments below. Just like that guys, we got the garage back cleaned up. We got the wheels back on that bad boy over there. And we got the wheels back on this bad boy over yonder, man. So we learned something new today. I actually could get the other wheel on. It's like you have to loosen the brakes first, tighten the axle first in order to get the brakes on there. So those wheels do work. I did take it up and down the street one time. Meanwhile, man, 2023 CBO back on the ground back on stock what do you guys think we should do man should we get some wheels for it and uh beef it up a little bit man what do you guys think let your boy know in the comments below i can't wait i think it actually looked real good with the wheels on there so alrighty, guys it's gonna be a wrap for today's video man if you guys haven't already man please like comment and subscribe i definitely appreciate it man we took the 21 off the big blue back there put it on the 2023 definitely fitted matched up well i actually rode the bike down the block with the 21 on there it does feel a little heavy up front compared to this 19 then again i've been so used to this 19 just really riding it how I want to. When you put the 21 on there, I feel like you gotta be a little bit more careful in particular what you do. But meanwhile, all in all, it definitely looked good. Ran pretty smooth, I ain't gonna hold you. Would I put the 21 on here? I would, just because it looks so freaking good and nice. So you never know, man. If you guys think we should put new wheels on this sucker, man, let me know in the comments below. Meanwhile, man, I can't wait. If you guys haven't entered in for a chance to win, man, $23 to enter you in for a chance to win our 2023 CVO. Not only you get in for $23, but you get 23 entries in for a chance to win, man. You guys know what time it is. Head on over to every regular.com go cop anything on the site and that'll be your entry into the giveaway in the meantime man i'm about to get these bikes and stuff pretty much ready to ship out and get our north carolina bikes back here in the house meanwhile i'll catch you guys on that next first ride video man it is a movie